For over 10 years, Syria has been the theatre of a clash between foreign powers. Opposition groups had won the support of Turkey, some Gulf states, and Western powers too. Some groups were even financed and armed, and not all of them were moderate. That support lessened over the years, notably after Russia's military intervention in 2015. This show of force from Moscow allowed the regime in Damascus to gain the upper hand and consolidate control once again. Only Turkey continued to fight Assad and the Kurdish population at its border with Syria. Ankara still remains supportive of opposition within the country. Far from the cameras, a French diplomat compares Bashar al-Assad to a puppet on two strings, one Iranian and the other Russian. He says without these two strings, Assad's rule would collapse. It is more than likely that without fierce support from Moscow and Tehran, Assad would by now be history. The influence of both is hugely strong in Damascus. After so much investment in the outcome, neither is set to now abandon the Syrian government. The French diplomat explains further that when the puppet Assad feels the support from one of the strings lessens, he will pull on the other, seeking out its support. He can play the two off each other. In his weakness, at least he has this strength. European powers, meanwhile, have lost their influence largely. Some compare it to the first partition of Poland under Frederick II, while Catherine the Great ruled Russia. Moscow and Tehran might still support Assad for now, but for how long will matters remain cordial within this arrangement? Meanwhile, the EU's former chief diplomat Federica Mogherini sought to use the carrot over the stick. Brussels has said it is prepared to finance some of the reconstruction effort if Assad accepts a UN-sponsored negotiation to end the conflict. For now, Damascus has ignored the offer.